this fusion and this 666, basically carbon is also 666. And this is the power, basically, when man has this power, we end up destroying ourselves. okay? I believe this is actually what caused the cataclysms over 10,000 years ago, all right? And it caused a, a shift in our polar degree out, it, basically eight degrees, you know, it shifted it out eight degrees, and that caused cataclysm. Because whatever they're doing here, <clears throat> whenever they're using the Earth's magnetic field to transmit this energy, when you basically get constant, you get constant fluxes, all right? And if you get a powerful enough discharge or influx, you can shift the planet, okay? And if they were messing with the magnetic field, this is basically beast, the beast, you know. This is plasma energy, all right? This is star power, the power of stars. This, that's why this was so important and like a, had to do with cosmology so much with the stars and everything because they basically harnessed a star in there. It could also be an observatory, you know, in a way. I mean, if they literally, you know, needed to have telescopes, they could use that as an observatory. But regardless, I believe that's exactly what it was, was a, a star generator, it was a nuclear plant. It, cold fusion or fusion in that chamber and they used obviously the earth's uh, natural energies and where it was placed you know uh, the magnetic field the size of it literally is like the same dimensions as earth you know or relations to earth all of this you know basically being the beast you know 666 this technology we destroy ourselves i mean that's i believe what it means that's what all of this ends up meaning, um, I, I hate to put it that way, I mean, maybe we could actually figure it out and not do this to ourselves, but if we do mess this up, all right, they have found pyramids that have been blown to bits, okay? They don't know what could blow up a pyramid like this, but we've literally found pyramids out in the desert that have been blown to bits, all right? And we think, hmm, what could do this? How is it blown to bits? It's not like it just, excuse me, fell over, you know, or just caved in. It was blown up, and they've seen this, and they find out how could we do this, but when, if, when you're doing something like this, when you're messing with fusion and ionized plasma and all this stuff, you can create a big explosion. And if they did this wrong or had their calculations off, they could have literally blown that pyramid up. I mean, uh, I've done a lot, a lot of research. I mean, literally a lot of research, okay? And I'm hoping I'm kind of leading some of you into this direction too because you all start seeing a lot of things that are... Wow, you know, it literally, I've blown my, I mean, literally, I'll end up finding something or relating to something. I'll be like, oh man, that just gave me a clue. And then I'll start looking up what that is, and boom, I'll see a big, big puzzle piece thrown right into place. I'm like, holy crap, I made another connection, you know. But literally, I'm trying to get past all these hard, I mean, these connections were very hard to find. I mean, it took me years, years to find these connections and make them and put them together and learn all this stuff. All right, like a red star, okay? They have a red star over Foe's head and these other gods' heads, you know. Why would they have that? Well, if you're fusing ionized hydrogen with helium-4 nuclei, which are alpha particles, you would have a red star. You'd have lithium. Three. Three, six, nine. You would literally have lithium. You'd have an, an isotope of lithium. It'd be radioactive, you know. But you're using leptons and quarks, basically, to create this, I mean, to make this happen, you know. 369, 666, I mean, it's fusion, you know. When it comes to quarks and protons, the way they fuse, it takes 3 and 6 and 9, it's fusion. That's on one of my other videos, you know, when it talks about, uh, it's the X and Y factor, how the universe births life, based. I think that's the one. But, uh, yeah, the universe literally does program life, you know. That's what I was talking about on another video. But I think we end up destroying ourselves using this technology here, this nuclear or quark energy, you know, this alpha, and this electron energy, or omega, or lepton energy.